the box. It is a clear plastic box with a yellow grated top to let the air in. He traps a moth but cannot leave it alone. He drops a stone, a clod of dirt, a single blade of grass. He gives the whole thing a shake, tosses it back and forth between tiny pink hands. He takes it by the wings, dusty and dry between his fingers. He peers into its dull, black eyes. The moth does not look back, and I cannot look at either of them. He has kept us as well, mother and father, to look closely into our eyes, to paw and pick off our clothes, to examine each thorax, abdomen, skull, and recent metamorphosis. We beat on the walls until our hands become too soggy and bruised to continue. Exhausted, we sit in front of windows as the sky darkens and fireflies begin to dance beneath the maples. I desperately search the house. He will want a jar. He will want holes punched into the lid. He will want forceps. <laughs>